What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here with another episode of RimWorld Zombie Land Edition. Now, if you guys have been paying attention, if you, you guys have watched the last uh, three episodes, then you know we are trying to survive in our RimWorld colony over here. And we are not only fighting against raiders, but we are also fighting against these zombies that are hanging out outside of our base. And they're growing, and they're angry, and they want brains, and they're hanging out. They, I guess they really like this heat over here from our AC unit. But yeah, that's got to smell nasty too. Can you imagine like zombies in, what is it, 84 degree heat that have just rotten away their flesh? It's got to be nasty. Pretty, pretty nasty smell. Anyways, we're doing a little bit of mining here in search of steel, which I don't think we're going to find any. Uh, we've been having a little bit of success mining a little bit of steel over here. But that is, uh, that is tricky, trying to avoid these zombies. No Slack is awake actually, and he's hauling granite blocks, which he's doing over here. But you know what, No Slack, I think I really want you to, uh, you know what, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to get a little bit more steel. Uh, I don't know why I have Novak as like our major risk taker, but um, we want to come over here and we want to try to, we have to undraft him and we have to have him do a little, little bit of this mine our steel mining over here uh, just because we really 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 need the steel so we'll do I want to say we'll do two blocks worth of mining and then uh, he'll be able to take those two blocks and then hopefully the rest of this 21 uh, steel that's just hanging out here make sure no zombies are coming I think we're okay for now yeah nothing really close he does have the heavy uh, submachine gun too. Um, let's come over here. We're going to prioritize hauling. Uh, he got almost all of it. Make sure he gets back safely. I like that ripple effect in the water. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he definitely got back. Nice. I feel like now's the time. Let's just go ahead and um, let's have him do more. Oh, sorry, no slack. You know what? You are going to uh, you're going to do a little bit more steel mining. All right, undraft you. Bam. Mine compacted steel. Beautiful. Really knocking this out of the park, buddy. You're the MVP so far. Don't tell that to other guys, but you're the MVP. Alright, hopefully, um, the, here's the, what sucks too, is Noslax are actually our main researcher, so he's responsible for researching the, uh, the turrets. Um, which he can't really do when he's constantly digging for steel, but again, we can't do the steel turrets without the actual steel, so... Hey, it has to be done. Has to. 150, 209 steel. Now, you know what, that might be enough. Let's go ahead and restrict him back to base of operations, and he can start knocking out some of that uh, granite flooring right there. Uh, we do have a solar flare, and then uh, what was the area revealed? Oh, that's just our little little area over here. Now we do have all that set to uh, be mined out. That should get done pretty soon after they're uh, done constructing over here. How's our uh, how's our pet looking? Our uh, our Labrador Retriever still getting worked on uh, hauling. Uh oh, zombie attack! Uh, not a huge deal. A bunch of zombies are gonna pop out of the ground somewhere, but we've already got a ton surrounding us, so no, no, no biggie right there. Loic and Lisa are doing the mining, which is excellent. No slack is doing a little bit of hauling. We have plenty of food: 417 corn, 46 meals. No slack's taking a nice little nap, and then hopefully we'll be able to get. Is this? That's marble. I'd really like to get some granite. Uh, just so we could finish the granite flooring over here. Uh, marble, marble, marble. There's a little bit of granite over here, but I don't want to jeopardize them going out there just to grab that stuff. Which now is actually probably the time to do it, though. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll leave it alone. We'll let these guys rest, and then tomorrow's another day. 46 meals. Excellent. Uh, 151, I want to say that's cloth, right? 
Yes, and then we do have cloth almost done, 89% grown, that'll give us plenty more to do uh, more of this clothing over here, which is something that we'll be able to sell, but first, before we can actually sell that, we have to, we're probably going to have to get one of those orbital trade beacons and um, do, do it that way, because it seems like every uh, bulk goods trader or exotic goods trader, or any kind of trader that comes over here, we're not going to actually be able to do business with, because they're going to have to be a... Uh, Competing with these zombies right there. How's our heal root looking? 38% grown, 37. Okay, so like another three, four more days there. Trees, year round growing period, 78%. So if you do need extra wood, there's going to be plenty there. We got the cotton over here doing well. And then we have rice that's going to, or corn is going to take quite a bit. And then we have rice here, which is going to be done here in like two more days as well. Can we get away with doing some hauling? Probably not. Uh, you know what we're going to do? Just so we have a little bit of action, we're going to go ahead and draft no slack. Bring him over here, and then he could do a little bit... Oh, you know what? Yeah, he'll be fine. I thought the zombie might get through that little gap right there, but no. There we go, there we go, knocking this stuff out. You know what? Maybe... Maybe... Let's do this. Um, restrict. We're going to unrestrict no slack. And then let's go ahead and undraft him. I want you to come over here and grab the uh, the granite chunk. Yeah, 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 do that, do that, do that. I want you to get the granite just so we can finish the flooring. Nope, nope, nope. I want you to finish. Get the granite, dude. Zombie attack. All right. And I think, you know what, that's probably going to be enough. Um, draft, restrict, bam, go back, undraft. Okay, so do we, we do, we have the granite now, so that should be good. We should be able to finish the flooring with the granite that we just got. Loix eating, Lisa's doing a little bit of growing there. We have the zombie attack, which I'm not really concerned about, but just so you guys can see here. Oh, look at that. Freaking all those zombies just grew up out of the ground. And they're going to slowly uh, make their way towards our base. So that's going to be a ton of zombies that we're going to eventually have to deal with. Which uh, we might not really have to deal with them. It might be um, the traders that come or like the raiders that come. But uh, somebody's going to have to deal with those zombies eventually. Let's go ahead and set those to haul. And we are going to need to build more batteries eventually. Uh, we're good now, but eventually we'll definitely have to build some more. And then when these guys wake up, I don't know who our miner is, but I'm going to want them to do these granite chunks. So what I'm actually going to do, let's go to the stone cutters table and we're actually going to pause the marble. I want them to focus on the granite more than anything else. And they're not going to do that probably until they uh, finish mining this out, which is fine. I also want to extend our storage over here just a little bit more because right now the orbital trade beacon is uh, it's not going to go north and south as much as we want so if we can actually build this up to probably around where the horseshoe is we could put one or two of them in there and that should cover almost all of that area and then all that stuff is stuff that we'll be able to trade uh, with the trade ships uh, overhead you know. Uh, Lisa got food poisoning oh well she'll be fine. The cotton is done too, which is excellent. No slack's doing a bunch of hauling. Loic's doing a bunch of cooking, which is excellent. We need all that done. Really could use another colonist, which I know, I know, I messed up, and we had a fourth colonist, and then I had to go and I had to go get no slack killed in the last episode, but. That being said, we could definitely use another one. I would love to have probably like two more at least, just so that we can really get some of this stuff uh, going. The, the growing, you know, we could do a lot more hauling. Um, go a little bit more mining. Here we go. Beautiful timing. Refugee is being chased. Slave chemist named Eleven. So if he's a chemist, he's probably going to be pretty intellectual. And he's begging us for safety, and of course we're going to offer him safety. Why the hell would we not? Let's check him out real quick. He's a brawler, so he doesn't want to have a weapon. Uh, but he is psychically sensitive, which kind of sucks. But he is solid with medicine. He's a 7, and he's got the double passion, which is excellent. 
and he is pretty intellectual, so we might be able to move No Slack off of intellectual, off of research, and actually have him do that. And he's not incapable of anything, so he is uh, going to be able to haul for us, which is actually excellent. Let's go ahead and draft him, just so we can kind of uh, manually move him over here. And actually, you know what, let's do this. Um, we're going to undraft him. Uh, we're going to unforbid this steel, and then we'll try to have Levin here uh, haul some of this steel. And hopefully he'll be able to do that on his own without getting eaten by zombies. Yeah, yeah, raid, I know. Come on, are you going to actually be able to make it in there without any assistance? Without needing to be manually controlled? Awesome. Go, 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 go. Beautiful, beautiful. That was awesome. He's hauling 75 steel too. That's excellent. All right, let's go ahead and uh, set him. Base of operations, you are now restricted, buddy. Sorry about that. We're not going to allow you to leave. And then, uh, yeah, let's see. So, Doctor 1, Doctor 1. Yeah, you guys can both get knocked down the, to twos. And then, Levin is going to be our doctor, which is excellent. Bed rest, top priority, flick. No, don't need anybody to do flick right now. Uh, also, he can do wardening, too. He's a 6. Oh, tw no slacks at 12, though. Uh, we'll leave that the way that is. Handling, not concerned about. Cooking, not concerned about. Hunting, no. Uh, construction, you could definitely do some, but that's not going to be high priority. Uh, we'll set you to do a little bit of growing. Uh, a little bit of mining as well, just so that you're not just sitting around not doing anything. Plant cutting as well. Smithing, not concerned with. Tailoring, you suck. Art, you suck. Crafting, you suck. Uh, you could definitely do a little bit of hauling. Cleaning, just like everyone else. And then research is six. No slacks a nine, though. And he's got the passion, uh, same as Le uh, Levin, Levine. So we're going to leave that the way that is. And then managing, you know, nobody has to do any managing for now. And yeah, I think we're looking pretty solid. I'm glad that we got the fourth colonist. That was very useful. I would love for who is our crafter? I want to say it's Lisa. I'm not sure, though. Uh, crafter is actually Loic. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take him off of mining and construction that way, and you know what, let's take him off of cooking too, because we have enough meals. Loic, I want you to go over here and I want you to do the granite, just so that we can finish the bedrooms over here. We need more of the granite tiles so that we can do the granite flooring over here. And then Levin's going to need some clothes too, so let's see, is Levin completely naked? Gear, he has Synthread pants, which are shoddy. Let's go ahead and let's give him everything that he needs. Bills, let's do cowboy hat, parka pants, t-shirt, excellent. And then who's our tailor? Uh, Lisa's the tailor, she's a four. She has no passion for it though, No Slack's actually our best tailor. You know, let's have No Slack do that too. Uh, no slack should be able to come over here. He's gonna eat a little meal and then he should go grab some cloth and he's gonna finish Yes, he's gonna do the uh, the tailoring over here give Levin clothes so that he's not upset that he's naked Which let's see is he upset? Very low expectations feeling bad ugly environment, and he's hungry. Well, uh, he's eating now good ugly environment He's not too happy about and he's hot. So yeah, it's hot outside hot inside our base, too uh, we definitely need the AC, but I don't know if I want to waste our uh, steel in our components on another AC unit. Probably should though, right? Another zombie attack. Man, these zombies are persistent. Just leave us alone. Sheesh. Okay, how can we do this? I want to try to figure out a good way to install an AC unit in just one of the bedrooms. But, um... Hmm... One AC unit I can I can live with. But then I also don't want the AC unit to really be blowing out into uh, into our area over here, even though it's unroofed. We could probably put an AC unit like right here and then just do a bunch of vents, which that would probably work. Let's try that out. Um, we have 284 steel. How much is this stuff going to work, uh, going to cost? The vents are going to be 30 steel each, so it looks like we're going to need... Like one, two, three. Let's see if we do an AC unit there. We'll need a vent. One. We're gonna need probably like five vents. One, two, 
two, three, four, five, five vents. And the AC unit, so that's gonna be 150 and, oh man, 150, 240, 240 steel. That's gonna use up almost all of it. And then we'll need three components, which we have the components. But it's probably gonna be worth it uh, because they'll no longer be sleeping in the extreme heat or in the heat so they uh, they won't complain about that because right now I think they're all complaining about that uh, ugly and oh maybe not although it did get um, it did get a little bit colder but that's probably because it's nighttime awful bedroom still complaining about that oh yeah we need to put in the uh, the plants I forgot about that furniture let's go ahead and put in the pl uh, plant pot in each one of these rooms over here and then also I want to make one of these beds the uh, the prisoner bed so we'll do something like that that way if we do have like a cargo pot or something come down or a drop pod come down we can go ahead and capture those guys and hopefully get them back to our base uh, safely still got a little bit of mining left to do over there oh man look at all these zombies over here yeah they they made their way over here. That's uh, definitely shouldn't be going outside anytime soon. That sucks. Now I wonder if we eventually do, will the zombies attack, which I would assume they would, but will the zombies attack the, the turrets? Because they are man-made, but they're not doors, and I think we only have it set for them to attack doors right now. Which I would assume too is if the zombies are being shot at by turrets, they're gonna go ahead and attack the turret, right? So I don't know if we really want to do that and like set up a turret out here. And that door is getting worked on, man. 62, 49, there you go. Lisa, fix that. These guys are really, really working that door. We need to get the turret up ASAP. Yeah, you know what? We're not going to worry about the AC unit and the vents right now. Our number one priority is getting a turret, at least one in uh, installed. Uh, that way we'll have a little bit of defenses if they do happen to bust down that door. Um, we definitely want to get that. Okay, let's see. Research finished gun turrets. Okay, beautiful. Uh, what else are we going to research now? I feel like we should probably do smithing and machining just so we could get better weapons. Uh, but we also probably should do... Hydroponics, no, I think we'll be fine. We have plenty of food right now. What else should we work on? That's finished, so we can do the uh, the research or the comms console with the um, the high tech research bench, and then that will unlock a lot of this other stuff to be researched. Which we're going to need the multi-analyzer eventually. Um, let's see something real quick. What did I want to check out? Can we do... Let's see, production. High-tech research bench. Once we do that... But, you know, we already have the orbital trade beacon and the comms console. So that's something we should probably put in pretty, pretty soon. Hmm... That is going to be pretty important. We should probably do that right now. Uh, but, you know what, first and foremost, uh, before I forget, we're going to go ahead, we're going to do a gun turret. So let's go to security, improvised gun turret. Uh, I think we're going to put this guy over here. That should cover plenty of ground. Uh, yeah, we'll put that like right there. And then hopefully we'll have enough let's see we're gonna have to move up this power conduit get a little bit closer to the gun turret Lisa's gonna go ahead and knock that out for us right Lisa you're gonna finish constructing that we have the steel we have the components beautiful don't mess up and excellent beautiful beautiful so if those zombies do bust through uh, we'll be able to mow them down How's our door looking? 78%. I'm halfway tempted to just let them in and then see what this turret can do. But no, that's not the smart thing to do. Not at all. You know what we're going to do too, as a matter of fact? 
I'm thinking of maybe putting like a little bit of an airlock over here because we have the wood. We can go ahead and build a li another like wood uh, door, like you know, you know what an airlock airlock is. I don't need to describe that for you guys. Oh man, and that would help with uh, not only security, but um, well, we're, you know, primarily just security. Let's see, we could do another battery too. We have 102 steel left, but the batteries are doing fine right now. Okay, uh, 11 over here is doing uh, the mining. Which, let me actually check. Can we change their names? Mm, rename colonists. We can. Excellent. Excellent. I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, find someone in the comment section that uh, is worthy of being renamed uh, to be our chemist. Our, our little colonist over here. Now we already have Loic and we have Lisa, two very, very, very active commenters on the forums as well as in the comment section of the videos. Um, I feel like, oh, oh, no, 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 what happened? No slack. Oh, no, pause. Okay, all of you guys need to be drafted and come in here. Oh, Levin, you're killing me, dude. You're just gonna hang out for now. Um, shoot. The turret is doing its job, right? Right? There we go. Got indoors. That's excellent. Now you guys can all just kind of hang out there. Ah, oh, man. This is going to be dangerous. They're going to bust through this. Ah, oh, man. Oh, there's a raid, too? Awesome, I guess. They're gonna bust through that door here in a second. Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be dangerous. They're gonna bust through the door here any second, guys. All right, t knock them out, shoot them, kill them, kill them, kill them. There we go. All right, one more zombie left there. Excellent, excellent. Uh, we can actually come out here and defend this. Um, all you guys, come out here, please. And the turret, I mean, the turret did an okay job, I guess. Could have done better, though. Alright, we definitely need to, let's go ahead and undraft those guys. Uh, are they just gonna go to sleep? They Really, they all just went to sleep? Lisa didn't. What's Lisa doing? Oh, now she's sleeping. Alright, so our turret's gonna take care of that. Oh, man, this is, this is crazy. We're going to need to finish. We're going to need to fix those walls. That's like a huge priority for us. <laughs> we'll let them sleep. But those walls are definitely going to be a huge priority for us. Got to put that back. And then this is where that airlock would have been very useful. Just out of curiosity, can we actually reinstall the turret? We can. Good, good, good. We might do that then. We might build another airlock here and then just reinstall the turret. All four of our colonists are still sleeping. Don't want to give them disturbed sleep, so we're going to leave that the way that is. I'm thinking we probably need another turret. Um, it's at 89%, so it does need to get repaired here a little bit. Good, good, good. Loic, go ahead and finish doing that, please. Uh, prioritize constructing. Come over here and do that as well. Good, good, good. All right. So that was that was that was close. They busted through. I didn't expect them to bust through that easily. What do we have here? We have the slate wall. We should probably build another wall right there, even though we don't need to because of the whole diagonal thing. Um, we should probably still do that. And then I do want to have you guys clean up this blood. Uh, they'll probably do that once this mining over here is done. How are we looking on the clothes? Did No Slack do all the clothes? He did everything except for the parka, which Lisa's actually working on. Let's so go ahead and set one more parka to be done. And hopefully No Slack will do that. He's going to do a little bit of cleaning first, apparently. The mining is almost done. And we can go ahead and set this to get hauled. Bam, haul that. 
And no slack should, like I said, oh, you know, Lisa's gonna work on that, I guess. Lisa's gonna work on the parka after she's done doing a little bit of hauling, a little bit of growing. Maybe no slack will go in there and actually finish that first, though. Or not. No slack's gonna do a little bit of growing, I guess. Alright, Lisa, come finish this, man. 191 work left. Why is Lisa doing the cooking? Like, I need you to... You know what, Lisa? I need you to do the tailoring. That's going to be your number one thing right now. Uh, we'll still leave plant cutting pretty important. Mining is going to be secondary. Growing is going to be important. Construction is important. Okay, you're our cook, apparently, too. 5-5. Uh, five, five. Can Levin do the cooking? He can, although he's not very good at it, and he doesn't have a passion for it, so I really don't want him to do it. Alright, well, well, we'll figure this out. Beauty is should be getting better. Uh, I think the plant pots are going to do it. Uh, the lamps should have made it better. Uh, looks like there's no throw up and not too much blood around here. Uh, although no slack is cleaning that up. So the beauty should be much better. Um, next, I think we're going to try to work on some, uh, some artwork. I want to get an art uh, like bench or crafting bench in there and then hopefully one of these guys can start working on a little bit of uh, like small sculptures or medium sculptures kind of get our beautification up a little bit and then we're also going to want to extend this storage like I already talked about put in a trade beacon put in the comms console do all that stuff however I think we're going to save that for another episode guys if you guys are enjoying this series let me know leave a like on the video if you are Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out the other series. Look how many freaking zombies there are around here. That's ridiculous. We're definitely going to have to build a lot more turrets too. That's crazy. That's just crazy. They're going to bust through that door over and over and over and over. That is not good. You know what? Real quick. Real quick before I leave. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to build another wall. Uh, I think we're going to do something like this. And we'll have, uh, you know what, we should probably use, hold on, time out. We have the marble blocks, right? Let's go ahead and cancel this. Uh, we're actually going to build a marble block wall, I think. Let's do something like this. I think we'll have enough. And then we'll do a marble door. We'll put that right there. Hopefully these guys get that constructed pretty quickly. Yep, yep, fix that door real quick just so they, they don't bust through. Lisa's doing a good job holding that off. The rest of you guys need to go ahead and build that as soon as possible. That wall is taking some heavy damage right now. So we definitely need to get this airlock in here. Woods, oh man, that wooden door keeps going down to like 50%. I don't like it. Come on, come on, knock that out. Knock that out. Mm, good, 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 good. Okay, so a little bit of extra safety right there. Uh, much, much, much needed. I think I'm going to want to reinstall this too. Oh, man. I mean, I, I like where it's at right there. But you know what? Let's go ahead and reinstall it. We'll put it, we'll put it like right there. That'll give us a little extra coverage. And a little better angle too, so when they come through that door, or if that door opens, they can go ahead and shoot. Um, so I think we're looking pretty good right there. Lisa's going to continually go over there and help fix that door, which she kind of doesn't need to. But you know what, we're going to leave that the way that is. And we'll, like I said, next episode we'll probably do the comms console. We'll do the orbital trade beacon. And then we'll work on maybe producing some sculptures and some clothing to uh, trade with somebody just so we can get some extra stuff in here. Better weapons, more steel, and we can sell off some of our food and all that good stuff too. And we'll probably try to expand a little bit, get more of this uh, farming area in just so that we can actually sell some more food. Which, it's going to be a tough task because look how many freaking zombies are just hanging out. But yeah, that's the end of the episode guys. Do me a favor, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you guys on another video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you later. Bye.